Hello, I'm Youssef and this is Bugface, where the world's weirdest creepy crawlers prowl and frolic across your favourite faces. This is today's crucial creature, ready to give a frightening facial to Amber Doig Thorn. A spectacular example of this species, Amber is known for movie acting and presenting, with over 3 million online followers. Amber also has stunt training and combat skills. Her natural habitat is London, but Amber travels all over the world with some of cinema's greatest stars, interviewing them and playing lead roles. Let's see how she acts around today's bug. Meet Philium Philippinicum, or as we know her, Phyllis. Phyllis is from the tropical forest of the Philippines and is known as a walking leaf insect. Let's hope Amber doesn't walk and leaf us now. Amber, welcome to the Bug Snug. Thank you so much for having me. I'm like really nervous about this. <laughs> what do you think of the place? It's amazing. It's really cool apart from this bug area. Like mm -hmm. I try to keep my house a bug free zone. So not super happy with this, but we'll, we'll do it. Okay. Have you done anything to prepare for today, to prepare yourself mentally? <laughs> a lot of crying. Um, no, I had a really weird nightmare the other day. So it was a teeny tiny cockroach and it was it was crawling around my face, which was okay. And then it went in my ear. Right. And the people with me were like, oh, it's fine. He, he does this. It's a he. And it crawled into my brain. And all of a sudden I was saying things that wasn't me and it was controlling my brain. And then I woke up. So let's hope that doesn't happen. We'll try not to let that happen. Yeah. But um, yeah, that on that note, <laughs> <laughs> are there any other bugs that you really want to avoid having on your face? Spiders. Spiders. Yeah, I okay. will 100% have a heart attack if there's a spider. <laughs> Please don't have a tarantula, I will cry. Should we find out if it is a tarantula? No, yes, no, yes. Okay, Amber, <laughs> it's time to meet <laughs> Phyllis. Is there two of them? There's two of them in there. Um, is it going to be two on my face? Yeah, you're going to have no. two on your face. We didn't tell you about that earlier. Oh but um, these are Phyllis, both are called Phyllis. So these are also known as walking leaf insects or Phyllium philippinicum. They come all the way from the Philippines. They've come all the way to be here with you today. How do you feel about them traveling a little bit further to your face? Normally in the wild, if something's sweet or cute, it means it's really deadly and it's trying to entice its prey. And in this case, I'm the prey and I'm not happy about that because it's going to eat me. We do have to mm. run over some safety things with you um, because there's a couple of things that they oh. could do to your face. Yeah, go on then. So first of all, they might excrete on your face a little bit. It's not pooping on me. It I'm might, not having that. It might poop on no you. Poop. Um, no have, poop. Have you bought your own toilet paper? You see, I bought like a teeny tiny bug toilet roll, but I left it at home. And secondly, there is also a slight chance of them tickling you. I mean, I'm really tickly, and when I get tickled, I get the giggles, and then I can't talk, and I know I've got to read, so I don't know how that's going to go. Well, we don't want you shaking around too much because we don't want them falling into your mouth. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen, right? Oh, I'm so You'll be fine, scared. you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, we do have to get you just to sign this, though, in case anything goes wrong, um, right. and they crawl into your brain and start controlling you. Yes. Do I have to sign my name or a fake name? Yours, Phyllis. please. Thank you very much. Now it's time to put the bugs on your mug and let nature take its course. It's not. I think we need to do some more talking. I need to get to know the bugs first. Are you ready for this, Amber? No. <laughs> so we've got some facts about Phyllis 1 and Phyllis 2 on that screen above you. You've got to read them nice and clearly and correctly. The moment you do that and get through them all, the Phyllises can come off your face and you get to win your very own legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. How's that sound? It sounds good. I want the mug. I don't want the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, to get the mug, you've got to have the bugs. Okay. Are you ready? No, but do okay. it. Time for us to infest your face. Ew, why would you say it like that? <laughs> oh, no. So Phyllis 1 is on oh your face. God. Keep your mouth closed for a second. <laughs> She'll just crawl up your face, okay? <laughs> If you can, read us out that first fact, nice and clear, please. Just open your head a little bit. That's it, so, so keep that left eye, keep the left eye closed. This, this clever copycat is Philenium Philem Philem Flem. So it's Philium Philippinicum. That's yeah. exactly Quite what close. I said. Oh, they're moving. And Phyllis is a master of camouflage and disguise. Okay, they don't look very camouflage right no, now. No, I was just going to say, can they please disguise themselves away from my face? <laughs> Somewhere else. <laughs> when you're ready, can we hear that next fact, please, Amber? Oh, it's in my hair. Please don't eat my hair. Oh, no. Is it? <gasps> it's okay. It's okay. It's still on your face. You're doing really, really well, Amber. 
Can we hear the next fact, please? Walking leaf insects use something called protective resemblance. They make, they make themselves look exactly like the leaves of the plants that they feast on. You are what you eat, Phyllis, so don't eat me. How are you finding it? <laughs> it's scratching my nose, it's in my nose. Oh my goodness, okay. When you're ready, can we hear that next fact? Phyllis needs such good camouflage, like my hair apparently, because her short antennae and small eyes don't help her to spot predators. Is this why she's in my ear? Because she can't see? Oh! Your left eye is free, but you've just got Phyllis's bum in your face. Can you move your derriere, please, Phyllis? I can't, wait, if I, Phyllis. Can you see? No, she's got a lot of junk in the trunk. I cannot see anything. Next okay. fact, please, Amber. Okay, okay. Walking leaf insects are so good at copying leaves. The bodies have complex veins and even what looks like bite marks and discoloration. Bite marks, would they bite me? Would I get a bite mark? Oh my goodness, what if they bite me? No, oh, so it's, gonna, okay. they've got bite marks on them to okay. trick predators and things. Oh, okay. Are you good to carry on? Yep, the heavyweight females of Philly and Nemus Villain, Penelope, Philadelphia, can even grow up to eight centimeters. That is too large for an insect. So that's Philium Philippinicum, Amber. Okay. F that's exactly what I said. Don't forget what's at stake here, Amber. The mug. The legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. Keep that in your mind as you give us the next few packs, please. The adults are a healthy green leaf color with frayed browning edges to exactly copy looking like a leaf. It doesn't feel like a leaf and leaves don't move. This is so strange. They've got so into pretending to be a leaf that they rarely walk. This is rubbish. They're walking all over my face. This is lies. And nearly spend their entire lives in a single place doing their best fruit leaf impression. Why, why today are they not being fruit leaves? Okay, let's go. Take us away with the next fact, please. What if Phyllis falls in my mouth? I don't want to eat Phyllis. Okay, Phyllis here has a bit of a sweet tooth. Me too. And likes nibbling on the leaves of a guava tree. I've just had two chocolate biscuits. Will it be able to smell the chocolate? Because I don't um, want it to eat me. It shouldn't, it shouldn't do. It's Keep on your my tongue mouth. In your mouth. Oh, yeah. I said that and it's on my mouth. It's hooked yeah, on my okay. mouth. Okay. Oh, they're having a little cuddle at the minute. Do not breed on me. Phyllis, if you breed on me, there's going to be serious problems. Okay, can we hear that next fact, please, Amber? Female walking insects do not need to find a male because they are independent, strong women. <laughs> Phyllis can lay... We need to talk about this. Phyllis can lay her eggs where she is. Nope. Phyllis, you cannot lay your eggs where you are. Please don't lay eggs on my face. Isn't that good to hear? No, that's the worst <laughs> thing I've heard all day. So she can apparently lay her eggs where she is, which drop to the floor and a Disguised as leaf insect poop. So if she does a poo, it might even be an egg. Oh, but I don't want an egg or a poo. Please just keep everything inside until later. Oh my goodness. Congratulations, Amber. That was the last fact. We'll take yes. these off and we'll go get you Okay, mug. thank you so much. There we go. <sighs> okay. Well done, Amber. You survived bug face. How was that experience for you? I don't know how I survived. I think I started crying like three times. It was the most traumatic experience of my life. Really? <laughs> it was terrifying. That bad? Yeah, yeah they, it's the way that they moved and the feelings and they were like in my mouth a bit and the eyes and the ears and I had earrings at one point. It's just very strange. What was the worst part about the whole experience? Probably when you first put them on because I wasn't expecting it. And then they started partying on my face and they were like dancing or hugging or mating. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> they were doing something I weird. I think they were having a little cuddle. And were there any good parts that you enjoyed? This part where they're off my face. I'm quite happy right now. <laughs> what surprised you the most about the experience? And yeah, I was just surprised how much they move around. One of the facts is that they stay still. Like they're meant to stay still like a leaf and they, they were not being a leaf today. So. No, no, they, they were enjoying your face, that's for sure. Too much, I think. <laughs> now, you are an actress, of course. Yes. Is there a film that you think you could remake with little Phyllis here? Okay, I've got three. Can I say three? Three, yeah, great, let's hear them. <clears throat> Number one, Gone with the Wind. Okay. Because I imagine they would be with a good gust. Number okay. two, A Bug's Life, obviously. Ooh, yeah, I like that one. Number three, I wouldn't have thought this until I saw them waving their arms in the air like they just don't care. High School Musical for Phyllis's. So Phyllis, congratulations on making it through Bugface and thank you for exploring Amber's mush. And Amber, you did really, really well. So it means you get to win your very own BBC Earth Kids Bugface mug. This one? That one, yeah. Yay, thank you. I can put this in my cupboard of other broken items, so thank you for that. I made it myself. Don't forget, you can see all of our bug faces, plus loads more on the BBC Earth Kids channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next bug face. 
comebacks. Woo! <laughs>